highlighter. Who does it actually live up to his actual name? Beamy. Beamy, my dears, like beaming to the gods. Does it actually live up to its claim? Is it actually good? How is it applied? I ain't gonna lie, it's on my face right now. I know. A little sneak peek there. Is it worth it? Does it look like it's beaming? Let me know. Comment below. And is the duo or just by itself actually worth it? So if you're interested in finding out if this is actually worth your time and if it actually lives up to his name, then keep watching, my dears. Keep watching. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dears, and thank you so much for pushing the little play button. I really, really appreciate it. Now, today, we're going to be, well, me demonstrating the Jaclyn Hill Beamy Light Duo, the loose highlighter, and the brush set. Mm-hmm. I will let you know basically how it looks, the different applications, the uh, other options where you can use this particular highlighter. But before we begin, I just want to remind you, please consider subscribing and remember to push the like to the notification bell because it will let you know when my videos are up and loaded, my dears. And remember to follow me on all of my social medias, just in case you haven't already, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and even Snapchat. And I made it all simple. It all has the exact same handle, at any plus singer, as well as my IMDb page, Need Lopez. And that is for acting. And just check me out. I really, really appreciate it. And even though at the current moment, I'm not doing my regular Monday and Friday situation, I explain, in case you are new, at the current moment, I'm having scheduling full-time issues and I just can't film two times a week maybe one time and this may or may not be where it's gonna be for a while my dears just a little FYI because I know I've had some comments that they want me to load some more but I'm kind of restricted at the current moment of my apologies now I will hush and uh, for no further ado let's go straight into the highlighter tutorial slash review Alright my dears and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the demonstration of the Jaclyn Hill Beamy Light Duo. Now I did do a previous video of the highlighters on this video right over here. Basically showing you a different highlighter with the facts and application and how to use it in case you haven't watched it. I'll also link it down in the description below. I did buy this and I did buy her actual palette. That's going to be in another upcoming video and then my other thoughts is putting all three together all in one video my dears. Now this one I'm going to give you a little bit more information. Jaclyn Hill, I'm going to read it directly from her site. Basically this is $24. Light up the room with the silky soft ultra beaming highlighter, enriched with the super fine lustrous pearls. Our high impact formula delivers an intense yet buildable wet shine look. Use it to amp up your best features like your eyes, which will we, we will be doing that my dears. Cheeks and Cupid's bow or dial it up intensity with the maximum glow factor. I do have the Max Fix Plus my dears to show you. This is cruelty free and it's 4 grams. 14 ounces and then on her site if you like all of her ingredients are on there as well if you are interested and I always tell people please look at the ingredients just in case you're allergic to something because I have some allergies and so far from this list I'm okay the only thing I want to warn you because there's a lot of controversy she does use mica in her products so let her have why there using your own discretion now you get packaged like this her name is kind of like popped up all luxurious and everything and you go straight into the product and I have used this, my dear, so I have my thoughts. I have my thoughts. This is the line that has the more intense, because if her line, she has more of what I did in the past video, more of a glow within type of powder, if you will. This one is not a glow within, my dears. This is banging highlighter, like from space highlighter, if you know what I mean. Especially since that tends to be more of the trend nowadays. Because for me, I like <laughs> this type of powder, so... Yeah, which is why I purchased it and, and I'm in the shade. Actually, let me open the box and I'm going to let you know because I cannot remember what shade I got, my dears. I do not. And, it, and all the boxes always have like that little, like little lift over here. It's interesting. They're all very luxurious and expensive, my dears. I'm aware. They're expensive. And to answer a lot of people's questions, no, I did not get it in PR. She doesn't know who I am. Maybe one day, but no, I bought these all with my own money. See, it kind of looks like her other one with the beaming light. Like I mentioned, I did do that review. It's down in the description below. Okay, I got in the shade Extra 
light highlighter. Mm -hmm. Extra, extra, extra. Okay, sorry. Got a little bit too excited. Now, in her site, you can just buy this by itself or you can buy it with a duo. I bought it with a duo. My apologies, my dears. My camera decided to stop for a moment because my SD card decided to get full. I just cleaned it out, so I am back. My apologies. Hopefully, I can remember where I left off. Anyways, well, I basically was saying her brushes are nice. I fell my side fingers. My apologies. As I indicated, the brush is nice, sparkly, because this came out in December, I believe. So, you know. It's my thing, my dears. It's really up my alley. Me and Sparkle, come on. Now, now the brush, it is called the J... It is called the J03. Now, as you can see, my makeup has already been done, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of, a couple of tricks, how it's applied and how it looks like, my dears. So, let me get my hair a little bit out of my face where you can see. And I do have my mirror here, and I'm gonna bring you in. Let me adjust my chair for a moment. I'm bringing you in oh, just a little bit closer for you can actually see how it actually it is applied to the sun. Now, one of the reasons I do like filming outside, besides the fact that I have no room inside to film, maybe in the future, but for right now it's outside, is because a lot of us, well, we're outside. It's best to see through natural lighting. Right now it's giving me perfect lighting. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's fantastic. It's in its morning, my dears. It's like in the morning. What time is it? It is Sunday, 10.47 a.m., my dears. And of course, you know I have my coffee. Mm. As I indicated, I have the shade Extra. She does have other shades. All right, so I'm using her J03. And literally, this is, it's small, but you have to put just a little bit because it could be intense, my dears. So I'm literally dabbing like this, just literally a dab. I don't know if you're able to see. And then I'm gonna put the lid over it because we're outside. And I'm going to show you how it looks upon the skin. See how nice and uh, <clears throat> blinding that is, my dears. Mm -hmm. It is blinding. And let me do it on the other side. Now let me show you how it is applied all over the face and blending. And while I'm blending, for you can see the actual effect. Now, this is how it looks when it's actually blended, because right now I look like a nice, bright, <laughs> white stripe. All right, me dears, this is how the highlight looks right when it's blended. Keep in mind, this is without Max Fix Plus or anything like that. This is naturally how it looks. Nice and bright, as you can tell. And if you add some more, without any intention, without any Max Fix Plus, you can see it, blend it in. And that's how you look. Mm-hmm. Very nice and bright, my ears. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my eyes and in my inner corners. That way you can see how it looks like right on top of eyeshadow. I do have very matte eyeshadow. If you're interested in kind of what palette I use today, I did use this palette right over here. I did receive this in a BoxyCharm. I'll also link that video down in the description below. And if you're interested in this tutorial, let me know. Comment below. But I'm going to be using the same for the inner corner and I'm going to use my finger for the lid. So I'm going to put my finger in here. Just look at that intensity. Get some, put it in the inner corner. This is a very, very small fan brush. And then I try to blend it in. Can you see how it looks like on the eyes? Except I'm not doing very well on my left. But as you can see, the exact intensity of how it looks on the eyes compared to how it looks on, well, the cheeks. Now, let's go into intensity. I'm gonna use the same brush. A little bit of tapping motion. Now, I'm going to apply Max Fix Plus onto it. And I want you to look at the difference on my cheeks. I'm going to show you before and after, so you can see from the split, how it looks like dry and how it looks like wet. This is how it is with Max Fix Plus. And then I blend it in. And let me do the same on the other side, that way I don't look completely crazy. All right, my dears, and that's basically how it looks like with the Max Fix Plus. Very, very intense. So, I would say this would be very good, like, on special occasions or 
that's basically how it looks my beers so for today let me go ahead and finish my lip just one sip of coffee I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Drunk Dial on my lips today since I'm a little bit on the neutral side just a little bit all right my beers and this has been skim my entire look and I'm gonna be setting it with the Max Fix Plus and that's basically the demonstration of the Jaclyn Hill Beanie Highlighter. So, give me a second, let me juice my hair a little bit. I know, I said juiced. And let's go into um, my thoughts, what I think this would be used for, and if it's actually worth your money. Give me just a second. Well, welcome back, my dears. The Jaclyn Hill Beanie Highlighter. I showed you how it looks on the face without any intensity from MAC Fix Plus, how it looks like on the eyes, because you can use this as eyeshadows, my dears. As you can tell, it's very intense enough where you can use it as eyeshadow. I know. And, uh, well, the brush. Now, my opinion, this is my personal opinion, I do like this highlighter. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. You can use it in a variety of ways. But I recommend this for people who actually like the bright, a little bit unnatural, because I ain't gonna lie, this ain't natural, unnatural highlighting highlighters. Now, I would say the only time you can use this beaming highlighter will be on special occasions, like you know, vacation, you just want to be nice and shiny because that's probably what I'll be using this for if I, whenever I go on vacation, that's probably what I'll be using my dears. Or if you have a party you want to go to and you just want to go, well, those kind of situations I could see this for. Or, you know, there may not be a special occasion you just want to go to the gods, my dears. I've been like that. That's actually my day today. I'm just going to go to the gods today and I really don't have anything special or an occasion to do today. Like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually do enjoy this highlighter. I do like the fan brush, but it's like nothing special. It's n the only thing special about it is just it has a little bit of sparkle here. It's durable. I like the brush, but honestly, you can use any brush for this. Just remember the beaming. It is beaming, and I showed you the intensity with this. If you want a little bit more of that highlight, I would say more like a night occasion is what I would think this would be good for. Now, am I gonna say this is the only highlighter that's gonna be like this? No not the more affordable side that was I can give you about the same effect would be the one that comes to mind is the Maybelline are the Maybelline highlighters right over here I can't remember their entire name my apologies but like the Maybelline highlighters would be very good or even the Becca highlighters with their intensity you can really really intensify yourself or even the bomb highlighters with a lot of max fit plus you can do the same result the only thing is that a lot of those are powders I don't really know about the loose ones to be on oh no no I take it back I take it back my dears the artiste the artiste powders they kind of give you this exact same effect but the price point are they're kind of close so that would be up to your discretion my dears now this I really do like would this be a repurchase for me I would say yes. I actually like this a lot better than the other one, but the other highlighters more a glow within. I mean, it is used for, like for weddings and stuff like that. Or if you are going to the beach and you just want to have, if you decide to wear makeup, those kind of situations to look nice and healthy. This, <clears throat> you look really healthy, my dears. Like shiny, as you can tell, as you can tell. So. That's basically my review. I really think this is actually worth it, but I did mention a little bit more different prices and more affordable prices where you can get this type of look and just get the same result. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you bought these products, let me know how they worked out for you. Do you like them? What ways have you used them? Have you thought about putting them on your eyes or on your cheeks? Or what other way have you discovered for this to work? Or have you been debating about getting this? your thoughts and comment below because I want to know what you think so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it but just one last thing right before we leave just remember be safe be kind be careful I love you I miss you and I'll see you on my next video see you soon